In today's video, I'm going to talk about the notice of final cure that is filed at the end of some Chapter 13 bankruptcy cases. Hi, I'm Scott Allen, an attorney in Alabama, and if you're new to my channel, welcome. Thanks for checking it out. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Many Chapter 13 bankruptcy cases are filed because people get behind on their mortgage payments and they use the bankruptcy process to catch up these missed mortgage payments. When that's done, the missed mortgage payments go into the Chapter 13 plan and those payments are paid back to the mortgage company over the next three to five years, depending on the length of the case. So the ongoing monthly mortgage payments are either paid two different ways. They're either dispersed through the Chapter 13 trustee's office as part of the bankruptcy plan payments, which is known as a conduit bankruptcy plan, or they're paid direct by the individual who file the case. There is a process that's set out so everybody needs to know the status of the mortgage at the end of the bankruptcy case. So rule 3002.1 of the bankruptcy rule sets out a process for everyone to kind of get on the same page. And so within 30 days of the completion of a bankruptcy plan, the trustee's office will typically file what's called a notice of final cure. And this notice goes out to the mortgage company and puts the mortgage company on notice to say, hey, you've got 21 days to tell us, do you agree that you received all the missed mortgage payments, the pre-bankruptcy arrearage you were entitled to? And do you agree or disagree that the ongoing mortgage payments have been made? And what is the status of the mortgage at this point? This is an important process because the person who filed bankruptcy just needs to know where they stand when they get to the end of the case. And so what happens if the mortgage company says you're a month behind or two months behind, or there's a large escrow shortage, or there's these payments that are due that you don't agree with. And Rule 3002.1 provide that the individual who filed the bankruptcy case can file a motion to determine the final cure and come into court and these things can be hashed out. So really what we don't wanna happen is someone after they get their bankruptcy discharged, they think their mortgage has been cured, they think they've made all their payments. Within three months later that something's popped up and now they're three months behind on their mortgage and they really thought that they weren't. These things, this process is set out to really kind of put everybody on the same page so you know where you stand. It gives a platform for the individual who filed bankruptcy to dispute and arrears that may or may not exist here at the end of the case and sort through these issues. So if you're in Alabama and you're having some mortgage related issues, you know, feel free to click on the link below. Be glad to talk with you. I hope this information was helpful. Until next time.